Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Bauer Center for the Arts. This is Susan Martin, the Executive Director, and I just wanted to jump on here live because we are wrapping up our Doors Reimagined exhibit and um, online auction, which is a fundraiser for the Bauer Center. Um, we are so excited because we were able to have local artists and community members to reimagine doors for us. We're celebrating our 15th year since we opened our doors to the community and to creativity. And we wanted to offer this opportunity for our local artists to get creative and recreate doors to be a part of this wonderful auction. Um, you have a short period of time or short window left. The auction uh, actually closes tomorrow evening at 11.59. And we're having a reception or open house this evening from five to seven where you can come in if you wanna see the pieces in person. Um, and also you can place your bids this evening, but I wanted to show you a few of the pieces this morning uh, just so you could get a quick look at them. I'm gonna scroll around through the hallway here. We have some beautiful works of art um, where these doors have been recreated or repurposed um, into pieces of art, to functional furniture. You can see this is a part of a door that's been turned into a bench, could be used as a beautiful bench outdoors on your patio, inside, or as a potter's bench. Um, the mosaic tile is just amazing or ex and exquisitely done. Um, this was created by um, Des Black and Janet Chalker, um, and we're very excited to have this piece. Some of the other ones are some smaller doors they are uh, repurposed, reimagined cabinet doors. These pieces right here were created by uh, Ravel Hamilton. And you can see this one has some hooks on it. It has beautiful artwork, the thistle that's been painted on the front of this door. We have another piece over here that's just another, again, beautiful piece of art that uh, would look wonderful in anyone's home. And then we have a very functional um, board here that if you wanted to hang this in your kitchen, um, anywhere actually that would allow you to put your reminders on it. It's chalkboard paint and gives you the opportunity to use that to make yourself reminders. This is one of our larger doors that has been reimagined or repurposed. It's a beautiful door. These doors were salvaged out of um, either the Bauer Center for the Arts or the Wharton House, which is next door to the Bauer Center. So these are historic doors that were repurposed. Um, this one you can see has a beautiful image um, in the panes of the window of the Peaks of Otter. This was done by uh, Virginia Dickens. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. It's just a gorgeous piece. So if you want to bid on this, you better start bidding now because I know there's a lot of interest in these pieces. We have a couple of other smaller ones that are functional, ones that have hooks on them, make them available in your house, give them as a gift. This is a piece um, that was created by Nancy Laurent. Um, and you can see there's some wire sculpture on there and some hooks. And we have a couple of other pieces over here made again from a cabinet door and the front of a cabinet drawer. These are beautiful pieces. They're done by Linda Black and you can see the work that she's done on the fabric uh, that's been placed on these that have been hand dyed. Um, and they're just gorgeous pieces in person. You have to stop by and see them. Uh, is available and again um, it's a cabinet door that's been turned into a functional shelf but also a chalkboard uh, again this is done by Nancy Laurent and um, I, you know it's just really creative the work that she's done on here um, she's used flow paint on this one uh, so this has been handcrafted hand created and would just make a functional piece in your kitchen or anywhere in your house I'm gonna turn because I'm going to go over here to the corner outside of our terrace gallery to show you some other pieces. Again, this was one of our larger doors that was recreated into this beautiful bench by Des and Linda Black. Um, Linda created the uh, pillows and some of the features that are hanging from the door and then Des created this beautiful piece um, <clears throat> with the door and then also added some of his own touches um, as you can see in the woodworking and the craftsmanship of the bench. And above that, we have a beautiful welcome sign. Um, you can't really appreciate the detail from this video, but um, in the um, actual door are dried flowers uh, that came you know, from the garden and were placed in the, in the welcome sign. It's just a really gorgeous piece. Would be great hanging in anybody's hallway. Um, the hooks are sturdy enough. You could hang coats from it, anything. It's a great welcome sign. 
As you can see, this is a partial door. Again, one of the doors salvaged from the Bauer Center from the Arts over the years uh, during renovations. Uh, this is a beautiful piece of art that's done by Suzanne Paddock. It's a nice wall hanging. It has a wonderful um, quote on it. And again, it's also um, has the chalkboard effect on it so that you could use this um, to write notes, inspirational quotes, whatever that you would like to have hanging in your home. And we're going to enter into the Terrace Gallery, which is where this exhibit is taking place. And we'll just go through some of the other pieces real quickly just so that you can see them. Again, you have to come in in person to appreciate the beautiful work that's done on these pieces. Um, these were crafted out of doors. Um, Peter and Brenda Simmons created this charcuterie tray and the bowl. Um, and you can just get very close. You can see that's made of hickory, cherry, and maple. Um, and these, these are pieces that were made out of doors. They've reconfigured them into these wonderful pieces. Next, we have this wonderful, again, door. This is uh, Katie Rosevere created this. Um, it's hard to tell, again, the detail on this, but if you get closer and look into it, it's got a um, torn paper collage effect um, in addition to the painting. Um, and this was a beautiful project that she did. It's a dragon, and she did this with her daughter. Very colorful, and again, another popular piece that's uh, uh, very uh, getting quite a few bids on it. So if it's something you're interested in, I recommend you jumping online and taking a look at that. Um, I should probably share that the um, website for bidding, and I'll go back to our little poster here so that you can see this, but it's octria.events backslash doors reimagined. And this is also available on the Bauer Center website at bowercenter.org. If you scroll down to the bottom of our homepage, you'll see the link to the auction. Coming over to show you a few of our other pieces. Again, this is another piece of a door that has been recreated into this beautiful barn quilt, and this is done by Tony Henneman. We have one of the larger doors. This was a collaborative project. I'm gonna get back so that you can kind of see the whole piece, but then I wanna come in closer and show you a little bit of the detail. So this piece was crafted by Stan Fedig and Adele Schaefer, and Stan did the woodworking and the carvings. I think you can see the animals. They're kind of representative of what you would find here in Bedford County and at the Peaks of Otter. And then the painting on the door, that was created by Adele. And again, I'm gonna just scan back out here so that you can see a little bit of it. If you come in and appreciate the detail in this, this is one of my little favorite pieces because there's some little hidden gems on here. You have the deer drinking from the water. You have the little otter that's down here in the water. There's some field mice hiding in the rocks. Um, it's just, it's really just an amazing piece and all the little details that you can see representing the animals that are carved on the outside of the door. Um, the neat thing about these doors that are fully intact, these could actually be used as doors. So if you wanted to place it in your home and use it as an actual door, um, it would make a nice addition to your home. Another one of our smaller pieces, which is a cabinet door um, with the drawer front attached to it, and Sarah Bolduck did this one. Um, again, coming in closer, it's hard to tell the detail when you look at these in the pictures or the images, um, but she's also done um, what I call some torn paper collage in addition to the um, painting. It's just a really, really neat piece. We're gonna move on over to another one of our larger doors. This one's done by Pat Dougherty, and you can see this is a beautiful door um, that then she has created this wonderful painting and attached it to the front of the door. Um, and it really brings out the greens. The door itself already had this beautiful look to it um, after we cleaned them up, and you could see the paint coming through. It just really made it um, pop and makes the colors pop from her piece here as well. I'm gonna come down and show you a couple of pieces that have been recreated into some furniture. Um, this table was actually created by myself. Um, and this is just a fun table. Um, it's been cut in half. I was really fascinated. I loved the doorknob and the feature, so we left that. 
And again, the paint that came through after we cleaned it and kind of started pressure washing it and got through about five layers of paint, um, just found that to come through and um, just kind of had a nice effect. So we kind of left it that way. Um, and then just uh, polyed the top to make it, to seal it. Um, it had a um, space here that uh, was already cut out um, for an air vent. And we took that out and put a cute little basket in it so it could be used. Um, as you can see, it hangs down so you could hold magazines. Um, this would be a great piece. It could be used outside on your patio or it's, to me, kind of got a little beach effect to it. So it would be really cute um, if you have that kind of theme in your home or out at the lake. I think it would be a great piece for that. And then we have another table over here. Again, this was created from a second, a, a partial piece of the door. Um, and this one was also created uh, in collaboration with Des Black and Janet Chalker. Uh, Des did the construction and Janet did this beautiful mosaic tile. Um, and again, it's hard to see the details, but if you'll take a look, these are um, pieces of plates um, that have been uh, broken apart and the detail work on this is just amazing. This one would also be a piece that could be out on a covered patio, um, but would also be a really, really nice work of art in your home. We have a couple of smaller pieces that um, were smaller cabinet doors. These both have more of a beach look to them. This is Loretta Bolin who created these. Um, they're three-dimensional, so they're very cool because um, the pieces that she's placed on here were actually pieces that she has collected um, when visiting the ocean. So there's glass and driftwood and stones. It's just a really nice, beautiful collection of things um, on these pieces. They're both available. You can bid on these separately um, so that if you just want one of them, but you're welcome to bid on them together as well. Coming around, we have another piece that I'm going to kind of just pan over a little bit and then I'm gonna back up so that you can see it. Again, this one was created by Katie Rosevere, and this is a door, as you can see, that's hanging sideways, and so it's set up to be a hanging. Um, it's just a beautiful piece. Um, the movement of the ocean is just amazing, and again, the use of the door and just keeping it, you know, in its kind of antique natural form is just very nice. couple more small pieces we're going to go back around the room to show you and those are a couple of trays that we have on display and these are repurposed cabinet doors as well this is a cabinet door it's a mission style tray this has been created by Dottie Stone um, this is a beautiful again piece that mosaic tile um, would be very, very sturdy. You could use this as a piece of art hanging on the wall, but I think you could probably use it as a functional tray. It would be really beautiful on someone's table. And then lastly, we have another tray that's been created out of another one of the cabinetry doors. Um, and this one um, has been painted and then the chalkboard paint has been placed on the center. Um, it could be used, um, again, for functional purposes. You could hang it on the wall and write on the chalkboard um, and put your notes and your grocery lists on there. Um, we have it set up here kind of as a little uh, charcuterie tray. You can see where you could write on there what you have on the tray when you're serving it to your family or guests. It would just make a nice, fun piece to be placed on your table. And that's an overview of everything that we have available in the auction. Again, we will be open until 7 this evening. Reception with live music by Nightcap will be going on from 5 to 7. We'll have light refreshments and an opportunity for you to see the doors reimagined. But we also have two other exhibits taking place at this time. We have one called Portals. And then we have uh, the Blue Ridge Mosaic Artists. We have their display in our Sarah Broughton Gallery, which is gorgeous. Um, so please come out this afternoon or this evening and visit us. It's the uh, reception hours from 5 to 7 are open to the public. There's no admission charge. You can enjoy some music and take a look at all of the auction pieces. We'll have a computer set up so that you can bid while you're here, um, but then we can also help you if you want to get logged in and set up so that you can bid um, beyond this evening because, as I said, the auction won't close until tomorrow evening, Saturday night at 11.59. Um, so as a reminder... Doors Reimagined Exhibit Auction. Um, 
This is the link again to get to the auction. You can see all of the pieces on there. You can place your bids. Um, and we look forward to hopefully seeing you this evening. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We thank you for your time and your support of the Bauer Center for the Arts.